<clears throat> hey everybody, I wanted to share something with you this morning, uh, and I'm going to try my best to get all this in one take. Um, besides the kids coming up here yesterday morning for about 20 minutes or so, I was, I was alone at home for all day yesterday and last night, and uh, I'm not going to lie, I had a pretty rough time. When you're alone, uh, your thoughts just just attack you. Your doubts attack you, and uh, your fears, and everything. So I, I had I had a pretty rough day yesterday, and, and I I have not been asleep yet. I was up all night. I didn't sleep very well. I'm hoping today maybe I'll catch a nap. I took a shower while I got I shaved, and uh, cleaned up. I'm not going anywhere, but I cleaned up. Um, but I wanted to share what happened last night. Um, about 12:30 last night, I was really hitting rock bottom, and uh, I was praying pretty hard to God. And uh, you know, I, I I was when I pray to God. First of all, when I pray, I never ask Him for anything. I thank Him for what I have. I thank Him for what I have, but I I do ask Him to to keep me strong. That's really the only thing I ask for, just to keep me strong, to keep my mind strong. Because it doesn't always stay that way. But about 12.30 last night, I was really breaking down hard. So I I laid down for a little bit, couldn't sleep, cut the TV on, couldn't sleep. It was just crazy. So about 3.30 this morning, I'm on Facebook looking at a video or something. And across the top of my screen pops up a message from Messenger. And it said, why are you up? And uh, so I clicked over to Messenger, and it was a friend of mine uh, who's a nurse at uh, LTAC, where I was at the last time I was in the hospital. And I'm like, uh, how do you know I'm up? And I guess she saw a Messenger where I was online. And she never answered me when I asked her, how did she know I was up? And a picture came through. So I'm going to back up for just a minute so you'll understand everything I'm going to say. When I was in the hospital the last time, I was at uh, <clears throat> I was at Mission. I was on the St. Joe's campus on the fourth floor that's actually owned by Asheville Specialty Hospital, and it's called LTAC, Long-Term Acute Care. And that's where I was at. I spent 43 days there. And in my 43 days, I... I made a ton of friends there, nurses, CNAs, just staff, period. And they are, without a doubt, the best anywhere. So I became friends with a lot of them. And the, the, the young lady who sent me the message this morning was one of the ones I became friends with. And I don't really want to mention her name because I don't know if I have permission to do that or not. But anyhow, while I was in the hospital, I was bored. The TV had like five channels, so... I started coloring in the adult color books, and uh, it actually passed time very pretty good. One of the first, first pictures I ever colored was just like some kind of mosaic thing, like a wreath or something, I don't know. But in the middle of it, it said it had the word hope in the middle of it. And that was the one reason I picked that one first, because I needed a lot of hope at the time I was in the hospital. So when I got done with it, I taped it to the wall in my room, and I signed the bottom of it, you know, like an artist would. And um, people would come in and say, oh, did you color that? I'm like, yeah, it's not great. Oh, it looks so pretty. So anyhow, the day I left the hospital, uh, somebody said, are you going to take that? And I said, no, I'm going to leave it for the next person. They might need some hope. So I walked out of there and never thought nothing else about it. And then... At 3.30 this morning, I get a picture on my messenger. And it's a picture of that picture. And it's posted on my Facebook. I, I, I posted it so you can see it. I, I can't put it on here. I wish I could, but it's that picture. And I, I was blown away when I saw that. I'm thinking, how in the world does she have that? So I asked her, I said, how did you get that? Did you Was that in your pictures or something? Did you take a picture of it? She said, no. She said, I took it out of that room 
and I hung it in our break room. It's hanging here in our break room, and that's where it's been ever since. She says, we love it. And it was my picture of hope. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that they still had it. I was uh, I was quite moved by that. But just a couple hours before, I was praying to God to give me some hope. Then I needed a little hope. If this past year and a half has been pretty hard, <laughs> and I could use a little hope. And then it came from the strangest place. Well, not really strange, but who would have ever thought? And that really got me crying. I let my faith fade quite a few times this past year and a half. But God always, he always gets me. He says, you're not going away. You're not leaving me yet. Get back on that high horse. Do what you do best. And he did this morning. Don't you ever, ever, ever tell me there is no God. Don't ever tell me that because I know better. Because he was here with me this morning at 3.30. So don't you ever tell me that. I just wanted to share that. The picture's on my Facebook. Go look at it. Not because of the great artistic work. <laughs> but uh, it's there. And I want to thank the person who sent it. I don't want to mention the name, but thank you. You must have known something. You must have known. <laughs>